Mike Montone, of course, of the New York Radio Montone family, and Handsome Rob went over to Comic Con. But you guys didn't go to the panels. You guys were interviewing people at Comic Con. Uh, a couple of days ago, we watched the first clip. You guys talking to Spider Man. Yeah, oh, and a really organic and good homemade Spider Man costume. I couldn't tell it was even homemade. No, I thought it was like he had superimposed himself into the film. Yeah, I thought Tom a Holland. Deep was, fake. Well, it's like before Tony Stark hooked him up with the real suit. I see. Yeah. I see. Spitting facts. I don't understand the reference. Travis? You do me a that. favor and isolate these spitting facts. And you, yeah, as soon as you heard it, did you know that was... Exactly. Uh, yep. Yeah. Doctor it, Strange is pretty good. Isn't it great that when they're, when they're just... With Rob? When it's just met with, like, utter silence. <laughs> just, just stunned disbelief of those with ears. You don't even want to acknowledge it. You know, I had the intro from Monday's show, but now I have another one. Spitting facts. Yeah. Spittin okay! Facts. Uh, that's right. Um, all right, so who do we want to start with, Mike? Um, if we go, uh, Travis had put him in the uh, the order that that he liked best. I think he's uh, right. Thanos was uh, was a lot. Yeah, you of guys fun. had started Thanos. Yeah, with a little history lesson yeah. with Thanos. Oh, good. Yeah, we Thanos. Learned. Of course, he wiped out the Marvel X Men. Yeah. Uh, and now That's he's a pretty a, good costume. It is a good costume. He's at Comic Con. Yeah, he's got the cardboard that makes his arms bigger. He's got the big fake jaw and everything. Yeah, a lot of detail in that costume. A lot of it was good. Let's take a listen. Excuse me, Thanos. Have a moment for Sirius XM. Um, Wait, the jaw doesn't move? So no. Nah, that's not that good, then. reports that you're planning on engaging in mass amounts of, of genocide. How do you respond to that? Uh, I wouldn't call it. I would say it was good for the universe. I'd say good for resources, good for the life for fr uh, to prosper. <laughs> Possible. He doesn't oh. sound like Thanos. No, Thanos sounds very confident. That's not a very powerful voice. I'd say, uh, I'd say it's uh, good for the universe. That's uh, very, very good. Um, possible. He sounds uh, we'll nebbishy. He does. <laughs> yeah, I do like that. Mike is like really like. No, you should. You have to answer to this. He's like, I'm. I'm just trying to get a poster. I'm trying to get an exclusive poster at booth eight nine four. Yes. Like, you <laughs> yeah. know, I, I don't need to deal with this right now. So you found Doctor Strange at Comic Con as well. We did. I, I had no idea who he was. Rob had to uh, to fill me in on, on that one. He was one of the, to me, lesser known guys. I pretty much know who Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man well, yeah, yeah, I mean, you're a little busy in the gym sure. to be watching superhero yeah. movies. What are you going to, you know? Just drinking that muscle milk. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you could watch Marvel movies and drink muscle milk, but not when you're lifting. That's a lot to do at once. Yeah. How is Doctor Strange? He's an interesting cat. Yeah, we learned a little bit about him. That's when you know it's too much with the Marvel movies, when Doctor Strange has his own yeah. multiple movies that are just his. Doctor, Doctor Strange, Strange movie is great. great. I'm sure, yeah, it's, I'm sure it's fantastic. <laughs> Robin, I shouldn't say Troy, you want to go check out a Doctor Strange movie? Fuck no. Yeah, exactly. You shit. don't want to see that? No. No. No, he's got to rewatch Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> Will you Let's, see Doctor Strange? No. No, he Good makes... Movie, missing, missing out. out. He oh. makes... <laughs> he makes what? Spirals in the air, and those are holes in time. Well, oh, I'll definitely want to see that. Yeah. All right, let's let's hear from Doctor Strange. There he is. He's doing the Doctor Strange things. He's making his holes in time, but he's not going anywhere. When you do that, you you kind of hold your your hand like this, almost yeah, sort of, kind of like this, like this little pose you got going on here. Yeah. So, what would you would you say to allegations that when you do that, you're uh, signaling uh, the, to to white supremacists? I would say that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's Not a pretty, sure. it's yeah. a serious allegation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he's doing the okay symbol. <laughs> yeah, the, the way that the way that Doctor Strange makes his holes, he's doing that a okay thing, which I guess people think is a white power symbol. I'm guessing it's the K K K, the three fingers. I think that it's like a a troll. Yeah. That oh, it started, it? and then people started believing it, and then at some point, oh, it's bullshit. Okay. It just starts. Well, I think at some point it starts to melt together where. People who actually are white supremacists are doing it because people think it's the white supremacist logo, even though it's not, but even though they are, so then it kind of is. Well, it started as you used to just hold it down, and if someone looked, you, you got get to, to hit them, them, right? And yeah. Then people started doing it in pictures, and then I guess like left leaning media caught on to it and just launched it out there yeah. that it was a white supremacist thing. So the 4chan guys were like, well, it is now. Right. And then, uh, yeah. So, and you saw Dr. There. Strange doing it, yeah. and you were like, you may be uh, dog whistling. I love that these guys are just dressing up and going to Comic Con. 
and Mike is comparing them to white supremacists and Hitler. Just hoping well, to be a girl. <laughs> Mike isn't doing it. Mike is doing no, the reporter true. thing where he's not doing it. People, People are saying he's, that. He's, <laughs> he's mentioning allegations. Right. This is what reporters do. They'll always go, well, what, how do you respond to the allegations that? What do you think about the reports yeah. that? Respond to comments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, 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 no. I'm just a messenger. This guy has no idea what to say. Do you think anybody was sitting there watching this man dressed up as Dr. Strange going like, is that the white supremacist gesture? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody even considered no, it. No, no I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's very serious. He panicked. He did. Yes. Supremacist. You're not. I'm a uh, source supreme. I uh, protect the, uh, the whole earth, basically. I protect earth and uh, <laughs> the sanctum with Wong. If you don't know Wong, if you've met him before. Um, he's currently back in the sanctum right now, eating a sandwich. Wong? Yeah, Wong, yes, my uh, my partner in crime. Is, is it appropriate? That sounds like an Asian slur. <laughs> that's, nah, I wouldn't say so. He's he's okay with that. He, that's, that's his name, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just every turn. So, so I'm sitting there watching, and immediately I think, why would his name be a slur? And it took this poor guy, like, Three excuses before he was like, gets his name. His first response was, no, he's okay with it. Go back a little bit. <laughs> um, he's currently back in the sanctum right now, eating a sandwich. Wong? Yeah, Wong, yes, my uh, my partner in crime. Is, is it appropriate? That sounds like an Asian slur. Nah, I wouldn't say so. He's, he's okay with that. He, that's, that's his name, so. You know. <laughs> he's cool with it, so yeah, because you're friends, cool. you're allowed to do that? Uh, well, you know, we make fun of each other. Even he makes fun of me. It's not not so. very progressive of you, though. No, no. Shouldn't we expect more of Mike, our nation? It's the guy's name. <laughs> Wong is his name. <laughs> Why wouldn't he just sit there and look at you and go, "It's his name"? And We're he's, not. He's offending, but oh no, he makes fun of me. And I'm a... <laughs> he's just digging himself deeper. <laughs> Poor guy. Super and I love too that this whole thing started. With him saying he's eating a sandwich, thinking that was like a funny joke. Imagine oh, yeah. a superhero back at the lair eating a sandwich. And instead of like giving him something on that and giving him a chuckle, like, oh, Wong's eating a sandwich, you accuse him of racism. Yeah, yeah racism is no laughing matter. That's no, a great point, right. Mike. Very, very salient point. I'm glad that you, I'm glad that you went there. Absolutely. Oh, well, you know, uh, I just protect the realm, and that's about it. You know, the sanctum. You know, as long as Thanos isn't around anymore, you know. He doesn't snap his fingers. I'm cool with that, you know. But again, you're you're signaling white supremacists <laughs> with your your hand signal there. You're yeah. calling a guy a Wong could easily <laughs> interpret it as a, an Asian slur. Uh, how do you how do you answer that in two, 2019? 2019. Oh well, you know, different different age, different time, you know. <laughs> what? He's basically admitting to using a slur. Yeah. Why would he just say that's not what I'm doing? He's saying 2019, different time, you know. Because because in all of his times at Comic Con, no asshole has ever asked him these questions before. You're saying he's, <laughs> he's not prepared to be accused of racism. When no, he's just it might sound serious. And he's just portraying a character accurately. Yeah. Oh, Mike. You know, many different dimensions and many different like languages and slurs. So, uh, do you think that's an acceptable answer, though? I mean, we could, you could use that as an excuse for for anything. I mean, think of all the the women who were uh, harassed in the '70s, and people said, "Oh, it was a different time back then." That doesn't make it. Wait, wrong. wait, 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 wait. Are you are you, are you dragging Doctor Strange <laughs> yeah. into me too? Yeah, you're calling. What's his name? Doctor Matt Lauer. <laughs> <laughs> you're dragging this gentleman who's just dressed up as Doctor Strange into yeah. like well, what you're doing is you know you're oh, victim if he's, shaming if he's me capable too. Capable of this kind of bigotry, who knows what he does to women? Oh, okay. that's a fair cameras. point. That actually is you a know fair what? point. Well okay. All right, I see. Wouldn't say so. No, no, definitely not in the seventies. No, so um, you definitely know, not now either. So you know, minstrel shows back in in the <laughs> okay. old days. You know, you could look back and say a different time, but still not right. So. <laughs> Is it okay to signal like that and to call your friend Wong? Oh well, it's a, it's a power. It's you know, it's a it's a move I use to fight my enemies with. You know, again, signaling white supremacy. I mean, the, there are going to be white supremacists out there who see that and they say, Doctor Strange is is down with the uh, he's down with the white power. No, I wouldn't say so. No. I mean, you might not say so, but I think a you lot of people would say that that's the message that's being put out there. No, I wouldn't say so. I disagree with that. You disagree? As uh, Doctor Strange, you know. <laughs> so you disavow any ties to white supremacy? Uh, yeah, I disavow any ties to white supremacy, yep. Pretty okay. much, yeah. 
Well, we're going to hold you to that, and uh, the press will be watching. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this, Mike just won't let it go. Just hammering the guy. It's three minutes <laughs> of just place. nailing him on white supremacy. What a funny thing at Comic Con too. It's so, so it's so. Oh. You found the bat. We did. we did. He was very annoyed that we found him too. He was uh, he was a, bit, a little bit. He got a little cranky. He seems a bit curmudgeonly. Yeah, yeah, he already. We're looking at the first frame of this mm. video, and he already is kind of like you know, glaring at you. What's the angle here? Yeah. What are you doing? A real air smug. of condescension. I see. And his uh, his nose hangs out underneath the bat nose. <laughs> That's not supposed to happen. No, is it? no, no, no. Yeah, it does. Uh, he is a double nosed <laughs> hero. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The bat nose is supposed to cover it, so then it's like that's his nose. But unfortunately, it just looks like a covering. Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's not the and, angle you went, though, is it, Mike? No, no. An ill-fitting mask. Yeah, the mask doesn't fit just right. Nice. And also, you can... See the back of his neck? Yeah, you can definitely see the back of his neck. You can see his soul patch, too. Yeah. No. Can't you? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Batman doesn't have a soul patch, does he? Nope. No. Also, is Batman's turtleneck no. supposed to go to his chin no. through his mask? That's an ill-fitting mask. Yeah, it looks like he spent, like... A good amount of time on the costume and just skimped on the last details. Yep. The mask doesn't work, does and it? And he has his badge. Batman wouldn't wear a badge. No. Oh, you mean his, yeah, his laminate? I want to wear a cape. Why don't you just wear a cape, like, to work? That'd right. be cool. You know? Thanks. But wear, like, one of those old rich guy capes? Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Not even, like, a superhero cape, like an Elvis cape. Yeah. Yeah, just, like, attached to his hoodie? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to start wearing a cape. That's a good idea. Really good idea. You, you spend a lot of your time dealing with, uh, you know, Penguin, Joker, the Riddler, uh, but they, they tend not to strike quite as often as some of um, our lower-level criminals that are really probably more of a problem for uh, Gotham residents. Uh, we have, uh, you know, people masturbating and defecating on the subway. We have a plan to handle that. Look, all these other people come into the city, Huntress, Catwoman, you know, they, my, I let them deal with those things, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're sort of the prime uh, crime-fighting entity that the people of Gotham have. Don't you think that there's maybe a responsibility on, on your part and Commissioner Gordon's part to, to take care of this? Well, yes, and I also think that people only want to report on the, the Jokers and the Banes of Gotham. No one wants to tell them that Batman stopped the man masturbating on the subway. Wait, so he started by not taking credit for it, and now he's deciding, yeah. oh, I found a new angle, I'll take it. His credit. whole schnoz is hanging out. It really <laughs> is. <laughs> is there anything more absurd looking than just the neck of a turtleneck? It's cra it's like a scarf or whatever to make it look like the costume is connected underneath. But you could see the bottom of his neck. Yeah, and the top of it. Right, so you can see skin between his mask and his turtleneck, and you can see skin between his shirt and his turtleneck. Yeah. It's stupid looking. Yeah. Yeah. Quite. Yeah. It is a, a crime that goes on, pretty, I mean, multiple times a day. If you hop on the uh, the 7 train, there's a, if you were to ride that all day, you'd probably see, uh, you know, a dozen masturbators and at least two defecators. I do what I can. I'm only one man. You're Gotham's only a one. big place. You're a Batman, though. You kind of, an advantage, you could, <laughs> you know, swing from subway car to subway car and, and, and handle this. Uh, I'm assuming, you know, you, you got something you could, like, shoot out, wrap up a masturbator uh, to maybe, you know, prevent him from getting uh, that final ejaculatory stroke in. But, you know, why not? Well, you know, I thought the subways were closed at night. That's when I operate. I mean, they run, you know, 24-7. The, the MTA <laughs> won't goes even, shit. So you won't give him that? No. No. His little shitty mustache. You want, to, you want to know why he won't stop people from making I the final that, stroke? I have a job to do. Yeah. He goes, ah, the subways are closed at night. Which they're not. You go, no, they're yeah, he's not. lying. That's not true. Not. <laughs> he, does a, he does have a shitty dirt mustache, yeah, doesn't he? Yeah, just get rid of it. <laughs> they kind of shut down from time to time, but... Um, I mean, especially in the Me Too era, do you not feel any kind of social responsibility? Oh, wait, wait, to, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Did you see that? I 100% saw it. I just saw it. So he goes up. You can rewind just a little bit, Troy, because I don't want to miss Mike's question. But when Batman goes up to rub his nose, his mask falls over. Social <laughs> <laughs> responsibility. You see, you, see, you see his mask fold? <laughs> yeah. That couldn't protect you from anything, no. could it? No. <laughs> To, uh, <laughs> to to take care of, of subway masturbators when all these innocent women are out there, you know, being jizzed on? You know you're right, you got me. 
I think I need to do a better job. So in he's so you know, annoyed at you, Mike. <laughs> he's so pissed. Yeah, he's yeah, had Mike, enough. you got me. He's had enough. Because now you're talking about women actually getting ejaculated on. <laughs> Your Batman uh, comics and, and movies. Is there a chance that we might see you uh, taking on, uh, a, you know, perhaps the Subway Stroker? Oh well, you know, I, nothing's out of the question or out of the realm of possibility. You know, some. some but I'm gonna say it's a safe shot. But no, There's, no. I don't think people want to see that. I mean, do you want to see that? You know. So there's no sense of social responsibility that says, I have, I have these superpowers, I should use them to, to prevent uh, women from being masturbated on on the subway? I should. I should do that. You should. should. So, so but you perhaps. know what? I'll have Alfred, uh, who's no one to you, but I'll, I'll make sure that we're in tune for all of the, uh, you know, the, the subway strokers. The subway oh, stroker. That would be a. We're putting more focus on that. On that would be that a pretty area. terrifying villain, the subway stroker. I agree. You know, you're you're riding, you go <laughs> into a tunnel, the lights go out. Yeah. And the next thing. He doesn't know what to know. do with it. The best is watching these guys try to stay in character. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Alfred. It's it nothing to, to you. <laughs> and then Mike's go, nothing to you. It's just Alfred. And Mike's like subway stroker. <laughs> We're still talking about jerking off. Huh? Mike's just spewing this constant verbal diarrhea. It's just. <laughs> I just love that, like, the superheroes try to wrap up the interview, yeah. and Mike just stays put and just stays on the same line of conversation. Well, very good, Mike. Good I'm job, glad you man. got to Both the bottom of, guys. of all good that. Job. Yeah, good job, Mike. Good very job, funny. Rob. Want more Jim and Sam? Catch up with full episodes and interviews from celebrity guests anytime on demand using the SiriusXM app.